Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can create something like this, where you can have a radio button that works. And based on that radio button, you can even perform some actions. Now, I'll also show you how you can make the actual design different. So how you can make the little circles bigger, the buttons bigger, how you can add text, how you can even change the color of the radio button as well. If this is something that you've been interested in, please make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. Okay, so right now I've got this app over here that I have that I'm creating for a customer. I'm basically right underneath this page over here and right now the app is running. So right underneath this, I wanna show some radio buttons that we can use and that the customer can interact with. Now, if you don't have an app, that's obviously fine. You can just add the code that I'll be putting here into your canvas, into whatever it is project that you have, and you will get the exact same stuff. Let's get started on to doing this. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be creating a H stack. And let me do that by typing in H stack, open and close a bracket. Inside that H stack, we're going to be having two buttons which will be our radio buttons which means you can add three four five depending on how many radio buttons you want to do this we're simply going to be typing button action and we're, this is how i declare buttons if you have a different way you can do it as well now inside of here we're going to be adding text and we're just going to add three spaces like this and we're actually going to be leaving it empty after that what i'll be doing is i'll be putting a dot and then i'll be putting a frame inside that frame our width is going to be 30 our height is going to be 30 and i'm just going to go ahead and remove the alignment completely after that for the frame after the frame sorry we're going to be adding a background and for now our background can just continue being white after that, we're going to be adding a corner radius. And for the corner radius, we're just going to be putting it as a hundred. After that, foreground color, and we can simply keep that as color dot black. And finally, I'm just going to be adding padding just to make sure that everything looks well. And then the last thing, we're going to be adding an overlay. Now, what is the point of an overlay here? The overlay is actually going to be that dark like border that's in a circle i'll show you what i mean in a second so i'm just going to be putting grounded rectangle and then open and close a bracket inside of this we're going to be having a corner radius and when you give a corner radius the value of 100 that means it becomes a circle after that inside of this we're going to be adding a stroke and then we're finally going to be adding a scale effect. And inside of this scale effect, I'm going to be putting the value of 0.6. For the stroke, what we're going to be doing is color dot black and line width. We're just going to give it the value of six. Let's go ahead and run this and see how this looks like in the app. So right now, if I go over here, you can see that we've created this outer circle. And if I click on it, nothing actually happens. Now let's go back over here and let's basically copy this entirely and put it right next to it. And now if I click run, you can see that we've now got two radio buttons, but they're actually not filled in. They're always in the value as if they're not selected. So how do we fix that? Well, the first thing I'm going to be doing is go up here and create a new variable. And I'll call it slab qualifiers. That's just because that's what I need to call it for my app. You can call it anything else and it will still work. So you can call it anything else. And then I'm going to go over here. Here I'll say slab qualifiers is equal to true. So when this button, the one on the left side is clicked, we're going to say true. 
we're going to change this to true and let's go ahead and copy this put over here for this one we're going to be saying false in order to not get confused I also want to add another text inside of our button that says what each radio button does so this will be yes and that one should be no let's go ahead and run this just one more time so we can see what it looks like so if I go over here you can see that now it has yes and no now we actually want it to look like a radio button so how do we actually do that well if you go over here you can see that for the background we put it as white let's have a look at what it will look like if I put black and run us you can see that it looks as if that radio button has been checked but now we want it to be so that if I click on the other one this one dismisses well how do we do that it's actually very simple we're gonna go over here and we're going to be using this we're gonna go inside of this inside this bracket and I'll say slab qualifiers or whatever it is that you called it question mark color dot black and then a colon and then I'll say color dot white let's leave this for a second until we make sure that this is cleared up there we go and now we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go ahead and put it inside the background over here as well except this one we're going to change this to white and we're going to change this to black let's go ahead and run this and see if we get that effect that we're after so we're back with the app now and I'm going to click on no and you can see that it goes to no. If I click on yes, it goes to yes. So that's the easiest way to create a radio button. As you can see, it's working exactly as expected and you can track down what the value is, whether it was a yes or a no, like which button it was pressed by tracking down whether this has true or false. Now there's just one more thing that I, few things that I want to explain and that is that he for the stroke let's say you wanted this outer circle and maybe I can just make this like that let's say you want this outer circle to be a different color well all you need to do is come where it says stroke and then color black and change this to whatever color you want if you want it purple for example you can do this click on play and now it will be purple as you can see in the video now let's say you wanted the background to change you will need you can do it from here now what if you wanted the actual dot inside to change again all you need to do is come over here and let's say you want it to be very small we can come over here put this as 10 and 10 and run it and now you will see how small the dot inside have become this is how easy it is to customize it you can also customize the size of the outer line by changing the scale effect over here a larger number means a bigger circle a smaller number means a much smaller circle thanks so much for watching this episode i hope you did enjoy it please make sure you leave a like subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment if you have any feedback thank you and i hope to see you again on my videos